r slash ask reddit, what is, seemingly, a small thing that possibly had saved your life. I wish I could consider drugs a small thing. They had become such a large part of my life that it almost cost me. But sir we have to give you adrenaline to restart your heart. I said no drugs. Had a paper due for summer college classes and decided to ignore the call from friends to join them out joyriding. Driver was killed in an accident that night and friends were significantly injured. Knowing that if someone follows you home, go to a neighbor's house. Not your own, if you don't drive. Or obviously the cops. ID you're being followed do not take them home. Would cause more harm than good. Or better yet, the police station, if you are in a car and can. Better yet, drive to a police station. Kind of fuck up for jeopardizing your neighbor though, good rule of thumb to make three lefts back to back after the second one call 911. What? A kidney stone. I was taken to the ER by ambulance with what I thought was an extra evil kidney stone, I get one every few years, and within 24 hours, I was diagnosed with sepsis from an infection unrelated to the kidney stone. If it wasn't for that 3 cm ureter shredder, I likely wouldn't be here today. The last dog I had. The thought of her being sad kept me from committing suicide. Still painful to think how much Zoloft fucked with my mental health for the first two months I took it. The dog in question has since crossed over the rainbow bridge. I miss her. Tearing up a little thinking about her. Roommates and I were at the mall over spring break. We'd come out of a store and were heading down the escalator when one of them stopped us and said she wanted to stay upstairs and go into a store she'd never been in. Not two minutes later a fight breaks out on the ground floor and someone pulls out a gun and starts shooting. Had we gone down the escalator we would have been right there. Still the weirdest moment of instinct slash coincidence I've ever experienced. I was bleeding to death and my sister saved my life. She was supposed to sneak out that night to see a guy and wasn't going to be there that morning. She fell asleep instead and was there to save me that morning. My underwear saved my life once. My mom had hid the Halloween candy in the cabinet on the top shelf, as a small child does I climb the counter to get to it, I lose my balance and fall off. As I'm about to hit the ground head first, my underwear catches on the knob of a lower cabinet and my head doesn't hit the ground. Wow, talk about hanging by a thread. Your underwear deserves a superhero cape for that save. Life-saving widget. Not using cell phone when driving. Antibiotics. I had a bad case of scarlet fever as a child. My girlfriend and I were going to go to a Christmas market in Berlin, but ended up having some emergency family issues to deal with so we abandoned our original plans for the day. It turns out someone drove a truck through that very same Christmas market that day with the intention of causing mass casualties. We would have been there. Exercising daily weekly, rest and recovery are just as important. 18 year old me did a terrible job so I'm hoping 38 year old me thanks me for making it a habit to work out and eat decently. My desire to skip a day at school lol, I pretended to be sick and went to DR, but ended up having an urgent operation a few hours later. May she rest in peace, with endless meadows to roam and bones to chew on. Hope you're in a better place these days. Operation for what? What did the DR discover? Moving that extra inch behind my truck. Missed a bullet meant for my head that day. Details please. Divine intervention several times edited to add, including a gun jamming while a raging drunkard put a gun in my face and pulled the trigger about 5 times. Gun was fully loaded semi-automatic with hollow points. I always think my guardian angel stuck her finger in the barrel and saved my life. Sounds like God wants you to still be on this earth for something. My cat and dog at a particularly low point. I felt like I needed to stick around for them and not much else. The fur babies know when we're sad, I'm positive of it. I'm glad you're still here, stranger. And I'm glad you've got loving fur babies. Antibiotics. My dad taught me how to skid a car safely. It enabled me, years later, to avoid what surely would have been a fatal accident with a tractor trailer on a highway. How do you do it? A stranger's kindness on a particularly low day. My dog. I was at an all-time low, she definitely saved my life. Meth. I was overdosing on heroin and a guy who randomly was hanging out nearby shot me up with some. I'm over 4 years clean now and studying to be a drug and alcohol counselor. A mammogram did save my life. My mother's love for being early. She went to the airport to get some cargo and promptly left. Two hours later, a bomb exploded in the airport, killing 22 and injuring 143. She was far gone by the time it happened. Heimlich maneuver. That shit works. Same. 
I was eating a piece of cheap steak and didn't chew it enough before swallowing and it was lodged in my throat. Luckily my stepdad knew the Heimlich and sprung into action. Scary moment for sure. I was talking with a friend griping about the president. He got annoyed and pointed out how I never used to care about politics and was drifting towards tribalism and stupidity. I took his advice to heart and unplugged from most political content on social media. Felt immensely better afterward. My dog and effexor. Effexor for me as well. Plastic towel bar in the shower. Shattered the millisecond I grabbed it, but stopping my fall for even a tenth of a second, it was literally not more than that, was just enough to make my fall somewhat of a non-issue. Probably not life-saving, but back-saving. Hope you have a good week. Narkin. So true. Seatbelt. Very simple and save a lot of lives. No drugs. Hello everyone. Thanks for sticking to the end of this video. I really appreciate it. I just wanted to humbly ask you to subscribe to the channel. According to my statistics, 100% of my viewers in the past 28 days are not subscribed. I have always wanted this channel to reach 1000 subscribers, and if you want to support and be a part of that, subscribe. It's free and it's an awesome way to support the channel. Thanks again, Reddit glitch out.